Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to our podcast today. These podcasts are brought to you in part by our sponsors, who really truly are what make these podcasts possible every week. O'Fallon Nutrition is a company that I've worked with for over 15 years. They're independently owned and operated, located here in O'Fallon, Missouri, right off of Highway K and Mexico Road. I call this place the Whole Foods of St. Charles County, but even if you are not located on this side of the river, it is still worth the drive. I can remember working all the way down at Powerhouse and still sending people out to O'Fallon Nutrition for their supplements. They are more than a supplement company. You can get grass-fed beef, salad dressing, seasoning for your cooking, uh, hair care products, makeup, uh, deodorant, toothpaste, uh, essential oils, and all the vitamins and minerals that you can think of. If you're looking for clean, whole food nutrition, as well as home care, house care, skin care products, O'Fallon Nutrition is your place. You can take a look at them at O'FallonNutrition.com, or if you'd like to have something shipped, if you're listening to me from outside of St. Louis, you can certainly have items shipped. I know they do free shipping if it's an order over $50, and the phone number is 636-240-5283. Again, it's O'FallonNutrition.com. As well as if um, preparing your food on a weekly basis is your primary excuse for why you're not able to stay on a good, clean eating program, which is something that I hear very regularly from my clients, I would ask you to please take the time to check out Pure Plates. It's pureplatesstl.com. They are a phenomenal place. We get our food from there during the week. They deliver to our integrity location. They will deliver to your house. Uh, They also uh, are just available for pickup. You can go to their Chesterfield location or their Kirkwood location and just pick up meals for the day, as well as um, just having them delivered right to your door. So if preparing your food is your main excuse for why you cannot stay on a healthy eating program, then I would suggest just stop by Pure Plates. Just try it. If you're trying to lower your blood pressure, you're trying to lower your cholesterol, you're trying to get your blood sugar down, try to do Pure Plates meals for a week and just see how different you feel. These are organic meals. They are gluten-free. If you need them to be, they can be dairy-free. They are soy-free. You're not taking any processed sugars or meat curing agents or preservatives. They really, truly believe in nutrient-dense meals that are just whole food nutrition. And I've had my clients or I've made recommendations for my clients for years at Pure Plates. It's pureplatesstl.com or you can call them to ask questions at 636-778-3555. Again, remembering that they have a location in Chesterfield as well as in Kirkwood that you can just run by and pick up a meal today. Everyone always asks me where I get my meat from, and given that I really eat meat on a daily basis, um, typically beef primarily, uh, my meat is very important to me. I have an autoimmune condition, and I want grain-free, corn-free meat, and I just haven't found the confidence in stores in knowing that I'm getting 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef. And I have searched and searched and searched for the right farm, and I have found the farm. It's fedfromthefarm.com, fed, F-E-D, from the farm.com. These farmers are amazing. It's a a family. They're, They're here in Missouri, and they have the desire, just like I do, to see people well and to see people healthy, and they put a lot into what they do. It's such a wonderful family to support. They do uh, offer 100% grass-finished, grass-fed, meaning that's it, uh, a beef, and I get my ribeyes, I get uh, you know my ground beef, my ground sirloin, I get my chuck roast. I mean, they basically have everything. They even have awesome jerky, but they also have eggs, they have chickens, and they have turkey. I'm planning on getting a turkey uh, for Thanksgiving, and if you'd like lamb, they have that as well. Uh, but if you are in need of good quality grass-fed, grass-finished beef, or quality eggs, chicken, turkey, uh, don't don't just settle for what you're getting at the local store. Uh, 
to go out on the internet and check out Fed from the Farm. Uh, that you can arrange a pickup or you can have it delivered to your for, for, to your home, and I can guarantee you you're going to taste the difference. Uh, for me, it, my health actually depends on it, so I really thank God to have found such a great farmer. Fed from the Farm. Com. I hope it blesses you. All right. Well, it's good to be with you guys this uh, great, beautiful, sunny day. Excited to be able to go over some of this information. I am um, going to start with the topic of food dyes. And although it may seem like a real specific item to discuss, I just want you to know that the reason why I bring some of this stuff up so specifically and get so detailed in it is because at the end of the day, I just want you to understand how important one single ingredient can be to your health. It can truly make such a tremendous difference when you start to pay attention to the details. So when I you know, spend an entire segment of time talking to you about the benefits of cabbage, it's not just because I want everybody to stop what they're doing and go out and buy cabbage. It's because I want you to understand that there's one, you know, that's one particular food that can just make all the difference in the world if you start bringing it in. And all the varying differences that it can make is just tremendous. And so if we start to look at food from that perspective, that it has that capability, it can be a tremendous health change for us. So ultimately, I just want to kind of position you to where you don't just think, okay, what I've learned in the past six months is that I need to eat cabbage and that I need to avoid food dyes. I want you to recognize that what we need to do is we need to pay attention to the details. And we, if we are unsure of what an ingredient is in our food, then we, <clears throat> we have to say, okay, I'm going to Google what that uh, ingredient is. And I'm gonna try to get an understanding of exactly what it is that I'm taking in because I need to know if I don't recognize it, there's a really good chance that my body is not going to recognize it. So please understand if there's an ingredient in something that you're eating and you truly don't know what you're having, the only thing you have to do is type that ingredient in Google or type in dangers of. So depending upon what the particular ingredient is, let's say it's erythritol, you would just type in dangers of erythritol and then we're gonna find out all of the negatives on that particular item and then decide is it really worth our while uh, to have that item. So uh, first thing we're gonna talk about is food dyes. And uh, I'm gonna read just some tidbits about food dyes and just kind of give you an understanding um, you know, of, of just the general just of what food dyes can do to us. One second. This article says that when we think about it, it seems logical that consuming candy, drinks, or foods with added petroleum-based colorings not found in nature might be problematic, but, pro but the problem is it's just, is just that. Often we don't stop to think about it. So when we look at the food that we're having and we see that it has a food dye, we don't really stop and think, well, I mean, what is a food dye and what really is it going to do for me? Um, I can remember uh, we would get food coloring and uh, at on Easter we would dip our eggs in the food coloring. And so I always kind of think, you know, uh, I think in terms of that, like I think in terms of, well, I mean, that just seemed perfectly harmless, but I also wasn't dipping it into my food. Now, of course, when you make cake and you're trying to change the color of the frosting, you're most certainly going to be using food dye. Um, think artificial dyes are harmless or a minor ingredient. Consider this. Food companies add more than 15 million pounds of artificial food dyes to foods each year, over five times the amount added to the food supply when our parents were children. Artificial food dyes have been linked to behavioral problems, various types of cancers, and other problems. The European Union requires 
foods with food dyes to come with a warning label and has banned many of the dyes that are still made usable in the U.S. Many people come into contact with food dyes without even realizing it. They're in toothpaste, crackers, pickles, yogurt, potato chips, pastas, and other foods that would not be obvious sources of dyes. Macaroni and cheese is a big one. Um, and that's just sort of like a common one that we would feed our kids. What's in a dye? There are seven artificial food dyes approved for you, uh, use in foods in the U.S. The most commonly used dyes are red 40, yellow 5, and yellow 6, which make up 90% of the market. These dyes are created synthetically in several ways. Some dyes are created by burning coal, tar, and others are derived from petroleum byproducts. Uh, like tartrazine and erythrozine. These artificial dyes are added to foods to enhance their color and to make them more kid friendly, but they are nutritionally void and potentially harmful. Many food dyes have already been banned by the FDA after research found that they cause substantial health problems from minor illness to cancer and surprisingly little research has been done to prove the remaining seven dyes are actually safe. Um, seeing red, artificial food dyes in behavior. This is a, a concern of mine uh, because at Sophie's school, um, they, they give sweet tarts and they give uh, Skittles all the time. And so we always send a letter at the beginning of the year basically saying that we don't feed uh, Sophie sugar, candy. Um, if she does, she has it on uh, Easter and she has it on Halloween and, and that's it. And then also that we, you know, feed her, um, you know, gluten-free and dairy-free. So uh, it's, it's a concern. These next things that I'm about to talk about, it's, a, it's a truly a personal concern for me. And then I'll talk to you guys a little bit about uh, some of the issues that John has had uh, from food dyes. Um, and in the European Union, foods containing artificial food dyes are required to carry this warning. It says consumption may have adverse effect on activity and attention in children. Uh, those same foods are routinely marketed to children in the U.S. without any such warning. The FDA currently holds the position that they have not found any conclusive evidence that the food dyes cause behavior problems in children, but that some children who were susceptible will notice increased symptoms of ADHD from consumption of food dyes. Um, also, the European Union warning says exposure to food and food components, including artificial food colors and preservatives, may be associated with adverse behaviors, not necessarily related to hyperactivity. And certain susceptible children with ADHD and other problem behaviors and possibly in susceptible children from general, the general population. The Center for Science and the Public Interest uh, released a 68-page report detailing the potential of artificial food dyes to contribute to hyperactivity in children, increase cancer risk, and to lead to other health problems. Um, research suggests that some children may be susceptible to even tiny amounts of artificial dyes, but that a significant number of children were affected by amounts over 35 milligrams per day. Recent research from Purdue University showed the amount of dyes in common foods was much higher and expected that one bowl of brightly colored cereal or some candy and macaroni and cheese was enough to, bake, to break the 35 gram threshold. In fact, it was estimated that many children are consuming three to four times the 35 milligram amount per day. The research on artificial dyes and behavior is still developing, but personal experience of many moms is astounding. Uh, they're saying, this article is saying that they have friends who have noticed drastic difference in their children's personalities after removing dyes, who can immediately tell that their children have consumed food dyes um, by their, basically by their drastic change in behavior. Um, so that's why I don't want my daughter being fed um, skittles all throughout the day because then she's not going to be able to focus at school and there's definitely definitely a behavioral shift and it is not just in children it is also in adults um one of john's vices you know before he met me is that 
um, he would get candy and he would eat sweet tarts and he would eat uh, those sour uh, gummy bears. And the, the food dyes just would really change his mood. Um, and now that he's like completely cleaned his diet out, he's had some moments where he's just gone off the rails and he's had those things. And when he's come home, it's almost put him in a position of like rage, just like absolute rage. And he's, and he's not himself. And there's been times where his uh, eyes will go uh, like completely just like black. Um, they really have a negative effect on him. I mean, it's, it's extreme. But the reality is, is that if you don't know about this, if you're not looking into this, you would have no reason to take food dyes out of a diet. If you're not in the, the thought process of, um, you know, I'm not putting anything artificial in my body, you're not going to care that there's food dyes in there. But there's food dyes in macaroni and cheese. Like it says, most foods that contain artificial dyes are highly processed anyway and are wise to avoid, but food dyes can be added to unexpected foods like pickles, fresh oranges, meats, yogurts, crackers, canned fruits, and more. Since these artificial dyes don't add anything beneficial to the foods and are most often found in highly processed foods, nothing is lost by avoiding them. Don't wait for regulation or warnings. Just just ditch the foods now. So, uh, if you're thinking about having a food and you see a food dye in it, or thinking about drinking a supplement because it has good, um, you know, uh, supplement vitamin quality to it, it, it has the amount of vitamins that you need, but it has food dyes, don't take the supplement. I have people ask me often about gummy vitamins, and I just tell them that's a gummy bear with vitamins added to it. Anything gummy or anything chewable is going to have an artificial fake preservative or artificial sweetener in it. Get a vitamin that doesn't have to be chewed up or find a liquid vitamin that doesn't have a bad sweetener in it like sucralose or aspartame or maltodextrin or dextrose. In addition, one that doesn't have a food dye in it. So John was drinking a, uh, an electrolyte drink that also had branched chain amino acids as well as glutamine in it. So it was one big thing combined. And it not only had sucralose in it, but it had three different food dyes in it, which just made absolutely no sense to me. So he's drinking this drink to try to replace his electrolytes. He's drinking the drink to try to get his branched chain amino acids and his glutamine in. But then every day he's consuming food dyes. So it's just absolutely terrible. And I learned uh, in class this week, I'm going through a, a functional medicine style nutrition certification. And so I'm learning from functional medicine doctors. And uh, it was Stephen Gundry that said, Dr. Stephen Gundry that said, um, one packet of Splenda can kill 50% of the positive bacteria in your gut. It's just one packet of Splenda. And just make sure you know that sucralose is Splenda. So when you're buying an electrolyte that has Splenda in it, when you're buying a bar that has sucralose in it, when you're buying um, it, just some kind of juice style drink that has Splenda in it or sucralose in it, uh, you're layering up all these different levels of sucralose. And this is just once. And he said one packet is capable of doing that. So we spend all this time trying to take the right probiotics, and yet we defeat what we're doing with the probiotics by having that sucralose. So I just wanna, I wanna really recommend that you pay attention to the details. So it isn't just about the food dyes, it's about what are, in the, what are the ingredients in your foods? What are the ingredients in your vitamins? Are you looking at the ingredient list? If there's something in there that you don't recognize, if there's something in there that you're unsure of, get out there and Google it before you buy it. I mean, don't waste your money. We have very specific places here in Missouri that I will recommend for people to get their vitamins, or I'll just tell them to get brands when they go out online. The brands that I typically recommend are Now Foods, N-O-W, um, Garden of Life, uh, uh, Solar Ray, Solgar, 
and Blue Bonnet. These are just, you know, some of the good quality ones. Now, we typically will send people to Whole Foods for that. Here locally in St. Louis, we have a store called Fresh Time. And then, of course, here locally, we have a store called O'Fallon Nutrition. Um, Whole Foods would be something that would be, you know, across the board, um, definitely, uh, you know, in most cities you'd be able to find. But Vitamins can be ordered online. You know, you, you can go to Vitacost, you can go to the vitamin shop, uh, you can go to Amazon. We just really need to make sure that you're looking at the ingredient list and you're trying to shoot for some of these good quality brands. Um, now, there's more advanced uh, vitamin companies like Pure Encapsulations and Metagenics, um, also uh, Apex Energetics. Those are excellent vitamin lines, but a lot of times you can only find those um, either in a specific, like sort of high level, high end pharmacy, um, maybe something like the medicine shop or, or uh, an individually owned pharmacy where they do compounding uh, pharmaceuticals, they'll sell those lines or maybe a chiropractor or simply a doctor. I know my personal doctor, Dr. Bly, um, he sells uh, orthomolecular and he sells pure encapsulation um, and uh, I believe he also sells metagenics and these are you know this is where I would get you know you know L-glutamine or um, uh, magnesium I go ahead and and purchase those brands because I'm there but O'Fallon Nutrition or Whole Foods you're going to be able to find quality brands there as well but don't trust anything just always look at the ingredients you know, I never know when O'Fallon Nutrition is going to bring a product in with something that I maybe don't necessarily agree with. Like, for example, they sell the product that had the food dyes and the sucralose, but it's surrounded by other products that don't have that. You know, so there's a supply and demand and you can't expect a business owner to decide that they're, you know, they're, they're not necessarily all going to be on the same exact page as me and my belief system. Um, but I do send people to stores like that because the majority of what they sell is a quality product. Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to our podcast today. These podcasts are brought to you in part by our sponsors, who really truly are what make these podcasts possible every week. O'Fallon Nutrition is a company that I've worked with for over 15 years. They're independently owned and operated, located here in O'Fallon, Missouri, right off of Highway K and Mexico Road. I call this place the Whole Foods of St. Charles County, but even if you are not located on this side of the river, it is still worth the drive. I can remember working all the way down at Powerhouse and still sending people out to O'Fallon Nutrition for their supplements. They are more than a supplement company. You can get grass-fed beef, salad dressing, seasoning for your cooking, uh, hair care products, makeup, uh, deodorant, toothpaste, uh, essential oils, and all the vitamins and minerals that you can think of. If you're looking for clean, whole food nutrition, as well as home care, house care, skin care products, O'Fallon Nutrition is your place. You can take a look at them at O'FallonNutrition.com. Or if you'd like to have something shipped, if you're listening to me from outside of St. Louis, you can certainly have items shipped. I know they do free shipping if it's an order over $50. And the phone number is 636-240-5283. Again, it's O'FallonNutrition.com. As well as if um, preparing your food on a weekly basis is your primary excuse for why you're not able to stay on a good clean eating program, which is something that I hear very regularly from my clients, I would ask you to please take the time to ch check out Pure Plates. It's pureplatesstl.com. They are a phenomenal place. We get our food from there during the week. They deliver to our integrity location. They will deliver to your house. Uh, they also uh, are just available for pickup. You can go to their Chesterfield location or their Kirkwood location and just pick up meals for the day, as well as um, just having them delivered right to your door. So if preparing your food is your main excuse for why you cannot stay on a healthy eating program, then I would suggest just stop by Pure Plates. Just try 
diet, if you're trying to lower your blood pressure, you're trying to lower your cholesterol, you're trying to get your blood sugar down, try to do pure plates meals for a week and just see how different you feel. These are organic meals. They are gluten-free. If you need them to be, they can be dairy-free. They are soy-free. You're not taking any processed sugars or meat curing agents or preservatives. They really truly believe in nutrient dense meals that are just whole food nutrition. And I've had my clients or have made recommendations for my clients for years at Pure Plates. It's pureplatesstl.com or you can call them to ask questions at 636 778 3555. Again, remembering that they have a location in Chesterfield as well as in Kirkwood that you can just run by and pick up a meal today. Everyone always asks me where I get my meat from, and given that I really eat meat on a daily basis, um, typically beef primarily, uh, my meat is very important to me. I have an autoimmune condition, and I want grain-free, corn-free meat, and I just haven't found the confidence in stores in knowing that I'm getting 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef. And I have searched and searched and searched for the right farm, and I have found the farm. It's fed from the farm.com, fed, F E D, from the farm.com. These farmers are amazing it's a it's it's a family they're they're here in Missouri and they have the desire just like I do to see people well and to see people healthy and they put a lot into what they do it's such a wonderful family to support they do uh, offer a hundred percent grass finished grass fed meaning that's it uh, a beef and I get my ribeyes I get uh, you know my ground beef my ground sirloin I get Get my chuck roast. I mean, they basically have everything. They even have awesome jerky, but they also have eggs. They have chickens and they have turkey. I'm planning on getting a turkey uh, for Thanksgiving. And if you'd like lamb, they have that as well. Uh, but if you are in need of good quality grass fed, grass finished beef or quality eggs, chicken, Turkey, uh, don't don't just settle for what you're getting at the local store. Uh, to go out on the internet and check out Fed from the Farm, uh, that you can arrange a pickup or you can have it delivered to your for, 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 to your home. And I can guarantee you, you're going to taste the difference. Uh, for me, it my health actually depends on it. So I really thank God to have found such a great farmer. Fed from the Farm.com. I hope it blesses you.